Hey guys, this is Phil Ebner with videoschoolonline.com. Today I want to talk really quickly about starting a new sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro. There are a few different ways to start sequences. I'm going to actually delete the sequence that I already started. I've got some footage and uh, some sample clips that you can download um, uh, from the course website if you're taking the course. Uh, or you can just use your own footage if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, but let's talk about starting a new sequence. Uh, first of all, a sequence is a uh, it's basically a draft uh, of your project. And uh, so each sequence consists of a timeline with all of your edits that you do on it. So to start a new sequence, you can go up to File, New Sequence. This will ask uh, you what sort of uh, sequence you want to start. We learned when you start a project, uh, you go through this uh, sort of dialog box uh, when you open up a new project in Adobe Premiere. But even when you start a new project, it will open up as well. So you can do, uh, so I'm going to call this project interview and I'm going to do underscore v1 so this will be my first sequence and I'm going to keep it at D digital SLR 1080p uh, DSLR 1080p 24 frames per second really 2398 or 976 frames per second click OK and that creates this new timeline so that is one way to create a new sequence. Another way is to go to this, it looks like a post-it note right here in your project browser. When you click that, you have different options, but I'm going to go ahead and click sequence. And again, you have the same dialog box and you can create a new sequence that way. And you can set your the, the preset uh, format in this way. And um, you can, that's another way to create a new sequence. But let me show you the easiest way and the quickest way to start a new sequence with the correct settings. If you have your, your footage, you're going to want your sequence to be, to match that footage, uh, form, that footage's format. So instead of having to like, figure out what the format is or even just take the time to click a button this does it in one simple step just find the footage that you want to start your sequence with do interview drag and drop it on top of this post-it note icon and that starts a completely new sequence with the right settings you can rename this uh, this um, this sequence if you want just by clicking it and naming it the right name. Uh, I'm going to delete that other one that we started before. And there you have it. Now you have it, a nice, perfect sequence, perfect settings, and it was just with a click and a drag of your footage. So that's how you start a new sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.